welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette. So it comes in packaging just like this. So I actually got this for a Christmas present. Um, and I'm really excited to try it out. On the packaging, it states that it's got four buildable magical pillow talk eye looks. And what it means by that is it comes with, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this clear covering that covers the eyeshadows and it has it sort of broken up in four separate looks with three different stages for those looks, if that makes sense. So it will have a prime color, an enhanced color and a smoke color. If you can just see those there. First thing I will say in terms of the packaging of the palette, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed considering how much this palette is, the packaging, if you can hear it, you hear that? It's very plasticky. Now, I mean, plastic is absolutely fine, um, but considering how much you are paying for it and all the other sort of palettes that I do own, this does feel quite cheap, like I wouldn't, if it didn't have Charlotte Tilbury's logo on there, um, just in terms of the packaging, not the shades themselves, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a high-end product. Um, it just feels really light. It feels like you'd have to be really careful with it if you're packing it up in a suitcase or anything like that. You'd have to really make sure um, that it doesn't get damaged. So I get a little, I will be a little bit nervous when it comes to you know ever using this um, when I'm taking it on holiday, when we eventually can and whatever. But that's one thing I would say that I was a little bit disappointed with in terms of the packaging now if you open it up you will see these gorgeous pinky shades and um, all the colors are absolutely stunning um, and where this sort of slip cover comes in it just shows you what color is for what sort of um, section so like I said the enhanced the sorry the prime the enhanced and the smoke um, another thing that I found strange, not a deal breaker or anything like that, um, the shadows don't actually have names. <laughs> so they're broken down into sections. So you've got your day section here, desk, date, dream. Um, so they're all sort of bundled together almost. So this is to create your four different looks. So a little bit different, but you know, happy to go with it. <laughs> so I have swatched a few of these colours already. Um, they come out really, really beautifully. The only thing I, I keep saying the only thing, but another thing I would say is that Dream and Day, they have two shimmers with one matte, um, whereas Desk and Date are all matte. Um, so for instance, your primes and your enhances are both shimmers. So I was a little bit, not sh a little bit mm, surprised by that just because Normally my prime would always be, if it is a shimmer, then the enhance would be a matte. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna give it a go. Um, in terms of which sort of look I'm gonna go for, I may even just mix it up as I go along. I don't wanna just, I mean, going forward with this palette, I wouldn't just stick to those looks. I would mix and sort of mix and match them, so to speak. So I think it's gonna be between either Desk or Dream, just so, you know, we've got a little bit more to work with. Um, day are these gorgeous neutral sort of colors and with a peachy sort of smoke um, shadow. And then Date, I, the reason I'm not using Date is just because I have done quite a few of those looks um, with the warm brown. So I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys. I am moving towards sort of the pinks here so the dream section just because it isn't something i naturally do um and one of my viewers um cassie actually asked me to do a pink look so this may be quite fitting for her <laughs> um so i think i am going to go with dream it is making me a little bit nervous just because i haven't used those look, um sort of colors much at all um and the fact that it is two shimmers and one matte pink i'm trying to imagine the sort of look that i am going to create with it but we may just you know as usual roll with it and see what we can do i'm a little bit nervous this is the first by the way this is the first charlotte tilbury eye product i've actually used so i have already prepped my eyes with mac painter lily um so that's just sort of my um go-to color that i would use you can hear snoring it's reg in my little pug so i think i might have to move him out of the room bear with me <laughs> you're making too much noise i'm gonna have to move you into the other room okay but say hi. <laughs> um, he was sleeping. So I'm going to go move into the other room, guys. Sorry, guys. If anybody has a pug, you will know how loud their snoring can be. <laughs> so I had to move him out. So as I was saying, I'm just priming my eyes. Prime, yep. Yeah, that's what it's called, a prime. Um, so base colour, if you will. So I've just gone really lightly with it. Just because I don't want it to be anything too dramatic. Because 
and when I've swatched it it comes out like that if you use sort of your finger to apply it and um, a damp brush or even like a flat brush that really holds the product and transfer transfers it onto the eye sorry um so yeah just instead I've used like a soft brush and um, so something like this you could even use a blending brush just to apply it over the lid if you're wanting more of a softer look okay so that's quite nice I think I think it's just enough okay so next one is this color here so again another shimmer but this is to enhance so I think what I'm going to use is another blending brush but this is to sort of define the crease a little bit so I'm just going to apply it one thing I would say about these colors is they come out really easily so you don't need to use a lot of the product um so I would just be really gentle with it nice though I, ne I always sort of steer away from like reds and pinks I don't know why I just they just scare me a little <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna enhance it a little bit more and then we're just gonna go in with the matte shade which is probably the shade I'm scared of the most because it's so it's like hot pink so I just swatched that for you just to show you it's really hot pink so Cassie I'm hoping you're liking this because I do not normally use pink at all so what I'm going to use, so this is the smoke sort of shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it here and smoke it out, okay? So use it as like, um, you know, normally you'd use a darker, if you were doing a smoky eye, you'd use like your darkest brown or so on. That's what I'm going to do, but using the pink. I did have a thought of maybe using it for like a um, eye line. But I'm just going to see how this works in the viewfinder it's looking so bright but I know whenever I look back on my videos it never looks as dark as what it looks like when I'm um, filming so I'm just gonna then bring that across a little bit more even though these aren't shades I'd normally use I am I'm quite liking it you know I'm just gonna go underneath as well with the um, last shade that I've just used on the outer corner just dampened my brush and just focusing on the center so what I will do is I'm going to go off camera match up the other eye and then I'm going to show you a mascara that I've recently purchased um this will be my second time using it so I want to see what your guys' thoughts are so be right back and I'm back the look is growing on me it is growing on me so I just thought while I'm doing it I actually may add just like a um like an eyeshadow eye line um just to sort of define it a little bit more and just to break up sort of all the pinks <laughs> so I'm just going to use one of my revolution palettes um I think it's called what is it precious stone rose quartz and I'm just going to use the color I'm going to mix ember and dampson together which are these two shades um, apologies for how dirty it is so I'm just gonna literally do a really slight it's nothing sort of precise or anything like that I just wanted to give it a little bit of a like I said just to find it a little bit more and then just a little bit underneath that's all I wanted to do <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put mascara on now I actually purchased this mascara because I was watching Zoe Suggs vlog um, I think it might have been her, like, her most recent one or something and she was talking about this mascara and when she showed it on the vlog oh my goodness I was blown away I was like I need that in my life I need to purchase it right now and it's the Hourglass M Mascara <laughs> it's the Hourglass Mascara so it just comes in a packaging like this and a gold tube the logo looks like that i haven't personally ever purchased from them before um so this is my first product from them but i was so sort of blown away by what her eyelashes look like after i was like i need it i have used this and i really wasn't impressed <laughs> um it's 29 pounds that's a very steep price for mascara in my personal opinion i'm very much a maybelline sort of girl like it doesn't really bother me sort of mascara as long as it does the job um so i was a bit confused as to why hers looked so amazing and mine didn't so i'm going to give it another go and see if it makes any difference and i also want to get your guys's opinion if you think 
it looks that much different really um i normally use maybelline lash sensational or i have been using the clarins supra mascara which i really enjoy and also sort of the benefit ones i've used before which i know are more expensive mascaras like this one but i actually have the travel sizes so they're a little bit cheaper <laughs> so i'm just going to apply it so the um the brush heads like that um so it does remind me of another mascara's um brush head but i can't think for the life of me what it is i think it's one of the benefit ones it might even be like um the real mascara but when zoe put hers on literally it was insane the difference i was well i can safely say to you i've never purchased a mascara this expensive before so the fact i did it says everything but i just don't think it's really doing anything drastic for mine what do you think it's the what's it called hourglass unlocked instant extension mascara so i don't know if maybe i'm used to more like volume ones to make them look thicker maybe i don't know but maybe i'm just doing one thing i will say is i did have eyelashes on the day before i last used it and you know sometimes oh i've just got mascara all on my eyelid you know sometimes if you haven't correctly removed all the glue it can make your eyelashes look a bit i mean it's not bad is it but i don't think it's worth how much i paid for it so guys if you are wondering about getting it maybe watch this first and make up your own mind because i was really sad that mine didn't look how zoe's did maybe she just has naturally better eyelashes than i do do you see what i mean like it looks all right but worth that amount of money do you think i think i was conned <laughs> but that is the eye look let's step away from the mascara the actual video is about the eyeshadow palette but that is the eye look so these are the dream section sort of eyeshadow and i do definitely think that these shadows even though there's two shimmers and one matte i was very well you saw earlier i was a bit oh is this actually gonna look okay but i am impressed with it i do think it looks really nice um and it's definitely different so i think that's always nice with the product it doesn't look they're not the similar shades that you'd see in other palettes really so you can definitely identify the brand which i always think is nice but no nothing bad about them whatsoever i think if you're definitely thinking about buying the palette definitely do so i mean i definitely would try and find a discount somewhere because it is an extensive palette i think it's like 60 pounds um so the literally the only negative thing i have to say is the actual packaging itself it just can you hear what i mean it just really like niggles at me like personally this feels better quality than this like the packaging this is heavier this is really light um so yeah that's the only that's the only niggle that i have but the colors are absolutely beautiful and i think it's such a versatile palette so she's literally broken the sections up literally as perfect as you can so day desk date dream um so i think no she's done it really nicely and the shades are come out so well um let me know if you want me to do another look with sort of a day desk or date just to sort of show you what the other colors do i'd be quite interested to see how they're going to come out um but you guys might be as well so if you are then i will i will record it um but yeah and cassie i hope this is a pink look that you were hoping for <laughs> um but yeah so i hope you look like the finishing look guys let me know in the comments down below um i forgot to say at the beginning of the video but if you haven't subscribed already please make sure you do so uh, it's helped my channel grow we're like slowly but surely getting there and like i have big plans for it this year like i really want to i'd love to hear a thousand subscribers before the end of this year so that's my, like my 2021 goal so please help me get there <laughs> um, but like i said comment down below hit the notification bell so you are notified every time i upload and make sure you subscribe but thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it um, and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.